several of my viewers have asked for a video on probing. So here it is. I have one of the first metal tables out there. So it was a little confusing on what needed to be grounded, what didn't need to be grounded, etc. Um, you can learn from me, stop struggling, and move forward. Probing is one of the best things that you can do on your machine. Thankfully, the electronics are already included with the probing capability. Just attach two wires, one to the probe and one to the ground. You can make it as fancy as you want. Now, it all starts with opening up carbide motion, getting the command line by quitting and typing M. The very first thing you need to do is home the machine. It always now needs to know where zero, zero, zero is. So, if you've accidentally had the machine touching a limit switch when you last cleaned it, very simple fix. Just hand, turn it off, move the machine away, and then rehome it. Now, once you've homed, you need to wrap it over to your work part. I have a tendency to do Z axes first. It's just a personal preference. It doesn't matter whether you do X, Y, or Z. It also doesn't matter whether you go in a negative direction or a positive direction. Um, again, personal preference. If I'm using a vise, clearly I'm always against a solid jaw, but here is a, a part just randomly placed on the table, and I will be probing my Z first, as you can see. Now, since I have the metal table, I attach my ground to the belt tightener in the front right-hand corner. And then the second probe, the positive probe, just goes to the cutter. doesn't matter if it's coated or uncoated. It also doesn't matter if you reverse the leads. It's just proximity. Now, this value here is a little bit tricky. So the axis of your preference, X, Y, or Z, a value either to below your work part to the left or to the right. It just needs to move the probe in a direction until it hits the part. Some of you may say, oh, you will damage the cutter. The cutter that I'm using here is only the second cutter that uh, I have been using since middle of October. The first one I accidentally crashed using carbide create and forgetting to raise my Z more than the default 12 millimeter. It still can be used, needs to be resharpened and I'm going to show you that on a future video how to cheaply resharpen your gunners. So you're going to need to write down your values X, Y, Z in whatever order you probe them and then you need to do some simple math subtracting half your cutter or adding half your cutter depending upon the direction you're probing which you've already been doing this math if you've been using your the paper method um, if I'm using wood as a product uh, I have a tendency not to probe I just bring the cutter close to it because nothing I've made in wood requires the precision that I have needed in using metal. Again, if you have any questions, just hit me up down below and I'll quickly answer them. So let's sit back and watch something about as exciting as watching grass grow.
you notice that I write everything in metric and inches. I program in inches, but you will need to send your machine to the home position using metric dimensions at present. I also record all these values in Notepad, um, the probing command. I just don't like typing. Um, the tool change position just brings the machine all the way forward. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something. Talk to you soon.